When we sat down to think about maps, we were thinking about what would the future of mapping look like on an iPad and mobile. And our belief is when you look out three years, the way that maps are going to be built and the way that they're going to be delivered will be fundamentally transformed. Forflight Global Aeronautical Maps are built on the new Forflight Map Engine, which is something we wrote from scratch in-house and now powers all of the mapping in Forflight Mobile. I'm Ryan McBride, Product Manager for Personal Aviation at Forflight. When you first load up Forflight Global Aeronautical Maps, you're going to see an overview of the area where you're currently located. As you pinch to zoom into the map, the map is smart and it knows what you're looking at and it knows what you're trying to look at. And so things like airspace will fade in automatically for you. The thickness and weight of labels will adjust uh, based on the zoom level you're currently at. Things like airport diagrams will fade in automatically for you. There's no additional user interaction required to get more information out of the map. We think this is the future of aeronautical maps. They're driven by data rather than scans of paper charts, which means information can be displayed when it makes most sense. So instead of seeing a VOR, for example, on top of a regular sectional chart, we're looking at the latitude and longitude of that VOR. We're figuring out what else is in that area. And we're rendering that VOR alongside all the other things that are around it in a way that makes everything around it and itself legible. Forflight users are familiar with the taxi diagrams in, in Forflight Mobile. We've used that same taxi diagram information, but we've baked it right into the global aeronautical maps. So as you continue to zoom into the airport, the airport diagram fades in for you automatically right on top of the map. It includes things like runway labels, taxiway labels, and even the FBOs that are right on top of that map. With a regular VFR paper sectional, as you're flying south, you might notice that all the labels are upside down. With global aeronautical maps, though, because the data is rendered on the fly, we can actually flip the, all the labels automatically for you. So even if you're flying south, all the labels are going to rotate automatically. That's labels for airports, for airways, waypoints, navigational aids, airspace, everything. Forflight Global Aeronautical Maps are totally customizable. You can, for example, change the theme of the map to a brighter theme that users might be familiar with if they're familiar with looking at a VFR sectional. We call that light. And we also have a dark theme for flying at night or for users who just prefer a darker aesthetic to the application. And when you transition between these different styles, what you'll see is everything in the map and all the styles change based on the underlying style. Map suitable for the evening and the aeronautical data rendered for a night scene gives you the perfect combination of colors and contrasts used for that environment. You can also customize the types of information that are available on the map. You can turn on and off high or low airways, airspace, artsies, and even place labels. For users who prefer larger labels, they can customize the size of labels in ForeFlight Maps. So you can open up the map settings view and adjust a slider which scales the size of all the labels on the maps to small or large depending on what you prefer. ForeFlight Global Aeronautical Maps represent a paradigm shift from viewing scanned raster charts in an application to looking at a beautiful worldwide map rendered on the fly by raw aeronautical data. And this is just the beginning. What we're going to be able to do with maps over the coming months of years is exciting and we think you're really going to love what we put together.